this summer, Yoga Aid is sending me out to film all the fabulous yogis who are making a difference in the world. It's the Give Love Tour. Give up, give your love away, give up. Beautiful yogis! This summer, the first Yoga Aid Challenge is happening at the Wanderlust Yoga and Music Festival, which is so awesome. We're so excited. Shiva Ray, Sean Korn, and Baron Baptiste are going to teach a class to over 700 people, and you have the opportunity to take the challenge and help us raise money for Off the Mat into the world. Today's interview is with Ashley Turner, Los Angeles-based yoga, meditation teacher, psychotherapist, goddess, priestess extraordinaire, and she is speaking on the topic of selfless service, the psychology of seva. Hi, I'm Ashley Turner, and we're here in Marina Del Rey, California, and we're talking about giving love. And I'm a therapist, a psychotherapist, body-mind psychotherapist, and yoga instructor. And um, there's so many different ways to give love, and we're really kind of diving into the psychology of yoga and the psychology of what is selfless service and how does it really work with each of us individually and in many ways selfless service and karma yoga is considered the fastest way to open the heart and to heal the heart to really open ourselves up to the greatest love that we receive and that we give and as we all know the more that we give the more that we receive we're all basically living every day with this inherent melodrama of our own particular life circumstance and our situation and our personalities and all the relationships that we're having and, and you know this ebb and flow and this oh my god it's up it's down it's this relationship is working it's not working I'm happy I'm not happy and so how do we get underneath of that into this just source energy of an equanimous peaceful nature which is the booty and selfless service immediately pulls us out of our ahamkara. It pulls us out of that self-importance and our narcissism and all of these concerns that we have about our own life. And when we work with people that, when we're giving to people that are suffering or people that have less than us, we are, it, it puts into perspective immediately what our individual circumstance is. It's interesting because the hands and the arms are a continuation of anahata, of the heart chakra. So the hands and the work that we do in the world with our hands is indicative of the work that we're doing from our hearts. So anything that we're doing in our hands, you know, what, what are we building in the world? What are we offering to the world? At the end of the day, you know, it's peeling back the layer of not looking at them as at-risk youth or not looking at someone as an orphan in Peru but just looking at this person as a soul and connecting from their heart to not get caught in that dynamic of I'm coming in and helping them. Really, I mean, really are we the ones coming in and helping them? Are they the ones helping us? Are they the ones helping us open our hearts? Are they the ones helping us reprioritize and realize what's really important in life? It immediately opens you to the space of the soul, the space of the booty, the space of the Atman and pulls you out of that individual sense of me, I, you know, ahamkara, this obsession that we get into in our Western culture. I notice a lot, you know, certainly in myself, in this selfless service, and what can I give, and what can I give, but this kind of voice in the back of my head, well, am I going to be noticed, you know, are people going to, and, it, and it's a little bit of Fad is not quite the right word, but it's definitely, you know, there's enough people now that have been doing yoga long enough that, you know, the urge is there to give of ourselves, and yet there's a way in which it can easily be exploited, and I'm going to give this, and I'm going to do this for charity, and I'm going to do this for, you know, in, in the name of selfless service, and yet it's also self-serving, because it's it's pumping me up and it's showing that I'm, you know, compassionate and that I'm generous. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that it's a very tricky thing and I think that it's very important for each one of us to be in a very real authentic conversation with ourselves 
about what is my motivation. What is my true motivation in taking this act? It's like yoga. People take up yoga, they take up hatha yoga, whatever kind of yoga they might be doing, even if it's just you know the strong power yoga to get a good workout and to get a great body, the effects of the yoga are still going to happen. They're still going to they're still going to start opening their hearts. They're still going to start opening their minds on some level. It's the same with service. We take we we do selfless service and we take action and we help others. It's still going to work on us and it's still going to melt our hearts and it's still going to open us in ways that we couldn't even imagine. So come join us at Wanderlust. I'm going to be teaching three amazing classes. One, Chakra Immersion. Another, Seize the Day, which is all about this coming into your power, activating in the moment every day. And then our third workshop is going to be amazing with um, Craig Colin, Brara Avis, and Yogi Tunes Collective, DJ Collective, Shaman Priestess. Really powerful, amazing workshop on Sunday. And there's great ways to give and serve with the Wanderlust Yoga Aid Challenge. So come join us. We're doing a master class with Sean Korn, um, Shiva Ray, and Baron Baptiste. And you can give, help us get the traction in the community, and keep activating through these amazing music and yoga festivals. Thank you so much. We'll see you at Wanderlust.